right, what is going on, my dudes? What you are looking at here is the Agent Venom God team. As you guys know, if you watch my channel, this is probably my favorite questing team in the entire game. Now, the final two members of this team, it kind of depends on the situation, but the important ones for me are the three on the right. Craven, Scorpion, and Agent Venom. This trio is absolutely phenomenal. But who we have along with Agent Venom here for this Maximum Showcase video that might as well be a sensational synergies video as well is also Symbiote Supreme and Anti-Venom. They both give Agent Venom absolutely phenomenal synergies as well. And why don't we go over those very quickly here? Now, I do want to say that usually when I am questing, I typically sub out Symbiote Supreme for Spider-Man 2099. Um, because he, of course, has the absolutely phenomenal synergies with both Anti-Venom and Scorpion, and they go together just that much better. But as you can see, there is no little turquoise box next to Spidey's name. He does not give any synergies to Agent Venom himself. And since this video is specifically about Agent Venom, well, we're going to be using Symbiote Supreme for this one. But before we go over that, one more additional synergy that's great for him as well is right here with Null, okay? All champions except Null gain plus 2% attack rating for each of Null's active synergy bonuses. Symbiotes gain double. So that is, of course, Agent Venom. Also, once per fight, Null um, essentially gives them like a Fury and Indestructible buff, uh, plus 50% attack rating for 10 seconds, which is absolutely huge. Gives you that like little immortality for Agent Venom as well. And also, of course, Null gets that unblockable buff on his special attacks which is just great man so many ways to build teams around this th this team here man and of course sometimes stealthy comes in and starkey sometimes the pig comes in there's just so much you can do here man but for a fully agent venom focused team here let's go down the line from craven on critical hits or when the opponent fails to evade, inflict a bleed debuff, dealing 50% of attack and direct damage over 4 seconds. With Scorpion over here, alright, when inflicting the opponent with a bleed, which happens on critical hits, also inflict an incinerate debuff, dealing 220% of attack and energy damage. That is so much damage, man. It's just so much. It's nuts, dude. It is so absolutely freaking nuts, man. Now, this synergy is beyond underrated for Agent Venom, and you are going to see it in this video, man. Gain 10% power anytime a debuff is purified. Agent Venom naturally has plus 70% chance to purify any debuff. Any debuff, man. That's 10% power every time it happens, including the Suicide Masters. And this is one that I typically never use, okay, for most of the time. But increase the duration of all bleed debuff effects by 20%. So not too bad. Not too bad for Agent Venom. So it really isn't a secret at this point how much I absolutely love Agent Venom. I've loved him since day one, since it was just the Craven synergy. I was like, this guy's pretty cool. And then the second that Scorpion synergy came out i was like holy freaking crap man i am so sold on this guy it is unbelievable man so you know many people don't like champions who like rely on synergies all the way and sometimes i don't as well man but the best thing about it is that all the members on the team are so good it's not just like bring along four useless synergy members it's like no dude it's like no matter how you build up this team everybody is a banger everybody like covers some piece of utility that you don't have from somebody else so remember last week or two weeks ago when i did the the um scorpion maximum showcase i said we're gonna speed run mcoc we're gonna speed run mcoc today but 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 faster okay so we're gonna start out with the champion boss here 6.2 champion boss okay and just you're gonna see right away man this just you're gonna see right away dude like i mean like i mean it's just it's stupid it's so stupid how much damage this guy does watch this special one one of them yeah okay and that's it it's done it's done and now we have to do like a little couple of dexes okay we could do dexes yeah we could probably do dexes um it's just kind of it's just kind of nuts and i'm gonna keep saying that over and watch this here i, I messed up it doesn't even freaking matter because he's just he's just dead he's just dead i mean like come on are we kidding? Yes, Act 6 was nerfed. Yes, the champion boss was nerfed. But that it's still, it's still the champion boss just nuked in one special one. You know what I'm saying? He's a very much so an RNG, crit RNG based champion, right? Um, so keep that in mind, of course. You're not gonna be seeing those numbers every single time. But I mean, like, that is just it's just come on, 
man. It's come on, you know. <laughs> Up next, we have 6.2 Mordo, dude. And oh, it's just the same story here, man. Same freaking story here. There's also Do Not Go Gentle. There is Spite. It's like so many of these, I'm telling you right now, so many of these fights are going to be over before I even get the chance to tell you what freaking fight you're watching, what nodes you're countering at the time of the video. Now, I'm just really focusing on Do Not Go Gentle here. I'm like, all right, maybe we can kill him without taking damage. And eh, we probably can't. Doesn't even matter. Doesn't even matter. It doesn't even matter, dude. It doesn't matter if we take some burst damage, okay? It just doesn't matter. So, it's a rank of video. It's a rank four video. Those are definitely exciting. It's my ninth rank four. So we gotta go ahead and see how he does in winter against Winter Soldier here, man. Against Winter freaking Soldier. Look at the red numbers, man. They are so good. The best thing, the most satisfying thing, is after like the special one, by the way, when like they really stack high. And you just see like some massive numbers spike. Like you see like a 4K. Oh my god, you see even higher than that sometimes when it really spikes up, dude. I believe that's from all the incinerates and everything. I'm not even entirely sure where these numbers come from, man. Because oh my god. Oh my god, 550,000 health on Winter Soldier, guys. Oh my freaking god, dude. Oh my god. Now, one thing that people comment all the time, it's like, hey, I'd love to see like the champion like by themselves, right? Also, so I get that. So for the rest of the video, the rest of the entire video, we're just gonna have Agent Venom by himself. Okay, so no more synergies, no more sensational synergy, no more Agent Venom God team. I'm just gonna run with uh, Agent Venom going through Act Six, going through Act Seven, and we're gonna just uh, gonna see uh, see how he does. <laughs> Obviously, this is a joke, right? He's so bad on his own. He is one of the worst champions in the game without Kraven and Scorpion. His tenacity is really good, actually. Still, seventy percent tenacity is always good. The fact that a few synergies can turn this pile of dog crap into what you just saw, this would, this, we're on pace for like a four and a half minute Winter Soldier kill there, right? So obviously that was jokes, we're obviously gonna stick with the synergies, man. But yeah, this is undoubtedly a luxury rank up, right? So for your, one of your first few rank fours, one of your first few rank threes even, man, I would say no. And if you don't have like the other synergy members actively ranked up and you actively are going to be committed to using this team and those team members and want to be building around this champion, so it's not the champ for you. It's the champ for me because I want to do that. Now, if you want to do that, join me. That'd be great. But I do want to caution you that that is what you will be getting if you are not prepared to invest in this champion. And that includes the synergy members, man. And it's a good investment in my opinion because this guy is nuts and he's so much fun, right? But anyway, let, let, let's let's uh, let's see what he could do. Let's see what he could do, man. So this is 7.2 freaking eye bomb. Friendly reminder, we are not poison immune. Just a friendly reminder. I'm saying that as a friend to you. Okay? Now, one thing that is just so nice about Agent Venom in Act 7 is there's that node that increases your attack by quite a bit as a six star, to be honest. It's quite a bit. It's like, what is it? It's like, we'll talk after this. We'll talk after this fight, man. Because, I mean, are we kidding? I mean, are we actually joking? That was absolutely freaking insane what that was. But when we're in Act 7, star power is a node. Six star attackers have their attack rating permanently increased by 700. And now on top of, you know, running the Suicide Masteries, of course, and we had class advantage in that previous fight, all of that is very much so increasing our modified attack rating. Now there's a thing between difference between modified attack rating and base attack rating. For champions who have abilities based on their modified attack, they're going to benefit very highly from the, these all these different sources of attack rating increasing, right? As opposed to like Silver Surfer, for example, who like all of his burst damage is based on base attack, right? For Agent Venom, all of his damage everything he does is based off of the bleed and based off of the incinerate both of those being based off of his attack his modified attack so that's why these numbers are absolutely freaking nuts man it makes the debuffs that much more powerful and when they take for only four seconds that means they're gonna tick very highly and very fast so yeah just a little quick explanation about like why you're seeing so much freaking damage out of this guy 
And that insane damage is going to be exceptionally noticeable in Act 6 nerfed health pools, man. Like, this Thor Ragnarok, okay? This Thor Ragnagod has about 200-ish thousand health, okay? And watch this. Really good RNG here. But I mean, are we literally joking? Is that a freaking joke, dude? What the heck? Friendly reminder! Friendly reminder! No synergies! This is, this is, what, this is what that special one looks like, but no synergies crazy it's crazy but let's keep it moving man this is 7.4 crossbones there's a lot of things going on here a bunch of different debuffs there's like the, the shock or something as well i don't remember where the shock but but what's so cool about the shock here is it's adding another debuff on this guy which is just nuts there's also foresight which is also increasing our attack rating even more which is just awesome so anything that increases your attack rating by enemy also man look at oh yeah when you hit him the, the fight goes too fast i can't i can't commentate i can't tell you what's happening because it goes so fast so every Every time you hit him, you're gonna gain armor break debuffs, but he has a 70% chance to purify those. Then he has a 10, he's gonna gain 10% of his max power every single time that happens of anti venoms on the team, man. You know? All right, 7.3 Sorcery Supreme, dude. Let's keep it freaking moving. So every time we purify a buff and a debuff in this fight, we are going to um, gain an unblockable passive, which is just absolutely phenomenal right so sorcerer supreme has like resistances and some energy resistance i believe she might have physical resistance too or maybe lowered physical resistance and high energy resistance so the damage here even though the rng is very strong in this fight um we're doing less damage so energy resistance is definitely gonna hurt this guy now you're probably watching this thing like holy crap this guy is so op he's gonna get nerfed because he's so op you have to realize that there is a very 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 high barrier of entry here amazing finish here amazing finish a very high barrier of entry they have to be not bleed immune they have to be not incinerate immune or resistant to either of those things you also need a lot of synergies to be this good as well so on top of having a lot of rpg defender counter tactics that's going to stop him from doing this and just rolling over everything you also need to bring the proper synergies along so it does require a lot but when he works he's like possibly arguably the best option for the things he works for man if you are able to commit to that so up next we have power shield you might not know this a couple things you might not know damage over time effects breakthrough power shield another thing you might not know is that if damage over time effects come from a special attack they get the plus 400 percent increased potency yeah that was a 650,000 health arcus boss and that would be in my opinion the hardest boss in all of 7.1 so far, I've shown you a lot of fun ways how we're increasing our attack. What about something like Heavy Assault? What is Heavy Assault? Like plus 400% damage on heavy attacks or something like that? Of course, one of each debuff. Taking for, for 16k per second, dude. 8.4k every half second. Now, usually whenever I fight this tiger, dude, I don't even go for the heavy attacks. But since we're like, like, like I said, man, if there is a way to boost our attack... You want to take it with this guy because he's the champion you want to take it with. We're 10 hits in. She's got like 450,000 health, right? And she's just, she's, she's just dying very quickly. And we're literally just doing heavy attacks. And that is just going to be it, man. That is just going to be it, dude. It's just crazy. It's just crazy, man. So up next, we're going to take a really cool look at the anti-venom synergy, man. Um, really cool look. You're going to do Night Carnage. Okay, and now there's going to be, it's like, it's like shock something where we're going to get shocks on us every time, like we touch him or some, something like that, right? But watch this, man. Every time we get those shocks and we purify them, look at our power. Watch the power bar the entire fight. Watch the power bar the entire fight. Man. Oh! Oh my god. Look at the power bar. Now, of course, we're running suicides, right? So we were taking recoil damage for days, dude. Recoil damage for days over here. Oh my god. Oh my god, man. Here we're just finishing out like kind of normal here. We're gonna go for one more special. One! Look at the power bar. It's just like, dude. Oh my god. Especially when you keep in mind that like his main damage source comes from the special one. So if, oh my god, dude. If you're like putting debuffs on yourself, 
during the special one and you have that anti-venom synergy with you dude oh my god dude oh my god just spamming special one with agent venom that is nuts dude that is nuts so here we have hella i believe this also has heavy assault or like you like gain furies or something on the heavies no it might just be heavy assault but yeah heavy assault dude he's great for you definitely would love to get those debuffs popping on the spe on the, the heavy attack man oh my god oh my freaking god dude and here another one another fight where we're, we're gaining armor breaks when we hit her but we're purifying them. Look at, look at, look at this. Now this fight has Lazarus, right? Now we, we're not running despair in this video. We're also not running deep wounds, by the way. I should have said that earlier. Um, but usually like we're running despair and we kind of get around the end of this fight here with the Lazarus, but we're not even doing that. We're just going to be like killing her like naturally, like super just over and over, you know? Like, and she has like, what? Like 550,000 health, man. And we're just nuking through it. Like it's nothing. Look at this. Look at this. Eight. Eight of each. Look, go all the way down. Going all the way down. What the heck, man? What the freaking heck is that? That's crazy. It's crazy, man. So up next, we have a yellow jacket in 7.4 with Encroach and Stun. Now keep in mind, remember, please remember, we have a 70% chance to uh, purify any debuff whatsoever. That includes stuns. I, I hope you know where we're going with this. I really hope you know. I really do hope you know, okay? Now, I could have held that for Encroaching Stun, or we could show off this tenacity here. So we also gained 10% of our max power when that happened. Now here, there's like, oh, I guess we have Heavy Assault on this one too. Oh, but of course, Yellow Jacket has that energy resistance, man. So look at that. Look at the difference between against Tigra, we we're doing 16k per second, and against Yellow Jacket, we're doing less than 8k per second. Energy tenacity. Energy resistance is very, very powerful utility as a champion um, that you can have, man. So that's really actually strong for Yellow Jacket on offense. He's able to resist it that much. So yeah, Agent Venom versus Yellow Jacket, not the best matchup, but also, as you can see, clearly not the worst matchup either, right? Up next, we're going back to the, the, the mix-up champions. We got Spider Witch. I like this one. We hardly ever do this one ever right but this one has a backblast here which increases the damage of our critical hits i'm not sure I, I i guess this is going to yeah this, i saw a 10k in there this has got to be increasing our damage by something uh i'm not even entirely sure man i'm not entirely sure but we're definitely increasing our damage a bit here for sure so i guess the backblast doubling the damage of our crits is going to be doing good things for us here as well since i guess heavy assault works like that I don't know, man. Just just look at the let's look at the health bars going down and, and be like, whoa, that's all that matters, man. We've done so much math in this video. I think we're or like and, 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 and like like attack rating explaining and stuff like that. Let's just watch. Let's just watch the special ones, man. Let's watch the special. So this is um, I think I think this is Power Shield Rhino. Power Shield Meltdown Rhino. So we are most certainly going to be taking a bunch of damage from Meltdown here, but that's okay, and I'll tell you why it's okay. I'm gonna show you in like one second why it's okay. All right, it's because of it's because of this. Remember what I told you about power shield, also like class advantage and other stuff. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Let's move on. Six point one crossbones. Didn't get that poison in the beginning, but guess what? It's gone. Seventy percent chance for it to be gone, along with the other three debuffs, other two debuffs from the suicide masters. And what I love about it, man, is that when he shrugs all those debuffs off. It's the, you don't you don't end up at 99% health. You don't end up at 98% health. You're sitting pretty at a full yellow bar, dude. I love it. I, he, it just it goes off right away, man. We're baiting out a special two here from this guy. Cool, that's it. You're done. You're flushed right down the toilet. See you later, Crossbones. Take it easy, buddy. You know I love you, but I love you on offense. You're annoying on defense. Let's go for Weapon X. Now, Weapon X has bleed resistance. I do not believe this dude has energy resistance. However, I'm not seeing anything fun in the numbers department for incinerates here. Um, but that's okay. Let's see what happens. Because Obviously, we got through the fight. It's a very short clip. So this is like 700,000 health. So I'd imagine that... The incinerates dark doing decent damage. Why don't we just watch it and find out? Now he is healing back, 
any of the damage that we do from from contact right so yeah definitely not like an ideal matchup but also like yeah he, yeah we're doing fine we're, we're doing fine here actually now we have 20 second cooldown i believe it is that he's not going to be um going berserk unstoppable unblockable all that crazy stuff right so we're gonna be getting as much damage as we possibly can against this guy now he's about to like ramp up again to his little berserk phase right he's gonna go into it naturally here just about our hero comes in the special one we're gonna back off we're gonna intercept with the special one and he's not gonna be able to um regenerate any of the energy damage there we freaking go dude weapon x 7.1 700 ish thousand health done in under 60 freaking seconds dude punishing angel we haven't done this one for a minute but this is mercy mercy node is a cool node dude mercy node is certainly a cool node um it's interesting. I like it. It's in AQ map 8 on the Spidey 299 boss, and it's definitely pretty tough on that one. No doubt about it. Um, but it is, uh, it's pretty fun. It's cool. Check it out. But she does have um, something like where Mighty Charge, right? Where she dashes at you, and then it's going to get rid of the debuffs. But we're not going to let her dash at us. That's just kind of the strat. We're kind of just going to go for it here. We're going to go for a special one. And yeah, that's going to do a lot of damage. We're going to dash in and not let her do anything, right? Now, I do believe the damage over time gets around the mercy but we're gonna play into the mercy anyway we're gonna play the fight the way it's meant to be played right and obviously it went kind of fine it definitely went kind of fine this was definitely not the best fight we've done yeah it looks like the energy damage is mostly doing fine ignoring mercy yeah i mean i mean come on what more can you ask for what more can you ask for all right up next we have 7.4 killmonger i believe this is power shield yeah this fight also is like kind of meh because it's like he has crit resistance right and one thing about agent venom is like all of his damage comes from critical hits but it is power shield so those few crits that do come from the special one it's like, you know, we're going to be like, okay, we're going to be okay from those, right? And when you parry, you put a debuff on him, right? Um, so yeah, we should be okay as long as we put a couple of, yeah, 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 we, we'll be fine. We'll be fine, man. So, uh, you know, definitely, I mean, listen, in general, dude, Agent Venom is not the move for Killmonger, right? If these armor breaks weren't here, probably wouldn't do this one. Also, keep in mind, he's just got that natural crit resistance. But look at those yellow numbers, man, from the crits on the power shield, dude. Oh, my God. You love to see it, right? Fading out a special two from this guy. If he ever wants to throw it, that would just be absolutely lovely. Oh, my God. We got the connection issues making an appearance, but that's going to be it. Boom. Done. During special two, dead. Amazing. Let's jump back in time to 6.1 Saber, dude, dude. I mean, like this, like, dude, these health, these 200,000 health pools, man. Now look at this, okay? This is 200,000 health pool boss, right? And 6.1. When you're doing like Cav EQ, when you're doing like side quests, dude, those health pools are like half that. Not to mention like Alliance War health pools on paths are like half that this guy in warp is really like get to a special one and win it's crazy it requires two synergy members but one of those synergy members is freaking scorpion one of the best champs for alliance war at the moment in my opinion so just <laughs> scorpion i'm talking about i mean agent venom 2 is also decent for for war right here we have 7.2 mole man now mole man for some strange reason is immune to incinerate on this note he does have bleed vulnerability so that's good we're doing some damage here but this is why it's like people are like oh he's really good even with craven it's like no he's he's okay with craven and this is coming from like, you know, I liked him back when, you know, I was like, yeah, he's cool with Craven, but he's not like busted OP with just Craven, dude. He he's he's usable with Craven. He's busted OP with Scorpion and Craven when you combine anti-venom in there as well for the power game, maybe Symbiote Supreme for the extra bleed debuffs, or null for the uh, attack rating when you die, right? And then you get the indestructible. That's when he becomes busted. But you really need just like Craven and Scorpion. But this right here would be like just Craven. So if you have an Agent Venom, if you don't have a Scorpion, but you have a Craven, and you're like, oh, maybe I'll rank him up, this is like largely what you're gonna get. But keep in mind, of course, this is Mole Man as well. So he's got he's a beefy boy. He's a beefy little guy, you know? So yeah, keep that in mind though. 
up next man we got variant three kang dude and this is you know the fight where he regenerates back to full every 20 freaking seconds unless there's an incinerate on you now one thing that's naturally hurting us quite a bit here is that it's the variant three node so at this point it's been a while since this content was out so you might not remember right um but basically any champion who is not a tech champion has their attack rating their basic attack rating reduced by 50 percent so obviously when we have all of our abilities that are based off of our high attack rating it's going to hurt us a little bit when naturally it's cut in half you know <laughs> so that's just not the not the best of course and we don't have like any other ways that we're like really amplifying our attack in this fight we're still doing fine this fight is about like 60 seconds long give or take maybe a tiny bit longer keep in mind the special one has so many hits that it just kind of amplifies the hit counter by quite a bit right but yeah i mean this guy's down with pretty much no problem this special one is just about going to freaking do it dude done goodbye take it easy have a nice life man let's go on a 7.2 nova 7.2 freaking nova dude oh my god so i'm not certain if nova has any resistances i feel like he might have like a little bit of energy resistance based on the numbers i'm thinking maybe i'm not sure i don't know too much about nova man i just know that i like doing this fight it's like a general like difficult fight hard fight with a high health pool with a hard defender that's why i enjoy it and i mean agent venom is rinsing it man he's, he's completely just rinsing through it like it's nothing that's what he's doing for most of these fights and here we go bam special one right can we get him over here in the core oh, he auto blocked us oh my god but it's okay because he is just flushed right down the toilet right here you love to see so up next, we are subbing in a member of the two, or two members, we're subbing out Anti-Venom and Symbiote Supreme for Heimdall and Angela, because we're taking on 6.2 Sinister. Now, this is interesting, man. Caustic Temper, so you need a Fury. That's why we have them. But every time we hit him, we have a, a chance to get a Poison on us. But as you know, right, 70% chance to shrug it off. Now, every time he goes for his special one, he could put all those debuffs back at us. So we're just turtling up. We're like, please don't throw the special one, sir. Not yet. Now you can throw it. Our health bar, it's going a little low, man. This is definitely an interesting fight because of that caustic temper, man. But the tenacity, the tenacity is so freaking nice. We're going to go for a special one here. The poisons are getting us down quite a bit. Oh my God. Oh my God, we are draining. He's at 2%. Oh my God. Heimdall saved us. You love to see it. You love to see it. Let's move on. 6.3 Medusa, and let me tell you, man, this is a prime example of, of, of why I said, like, he's certainly usable with Craven, but he's not as busted, right? So this is, like, still definitely very usable, very good. We have bleed, um, vulner not bleed vulnerability, but bleed something like enhanced bleed here, where it's definitely good, but imagine if she was taking the incinerate damage as well. Oh, she would just be completely flushed right down the toilet. I mean, let's be entirely honest here. She was kind of flushed. She's kind of being flushed right now. She's just not being flushed as fast, man. Because at the end of the day, right, the incinerates do much more damage than the bleeds do. That's just kind of how it is. That's just kind of how it is, man. Um, but it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. All right. Labyrinth Red Hulk. Now, this fight is in Labyrinth, and there are certainly ways that you can increase the damage here and further. You can put boosts on, you can use Mr. Fantastic debuffs, that's going to do a couple of things. It's going to decrease the amount of specials you have to bait. It's going to increase the damage over time numbers that you do with the, um, is it the Siphon one? I believe it's the Siphon one, okay? The Siphon debuff. Now, I believe uh, MSD uploaded a video of, like, boosted Agent Venom with, like, optimal like super duper damage masteries and, and synergies and everything like that uh taking this guy down in like under a minute right and there is definitely a lot of rng involved here i am on no mission whatsoever to break that record but i'm just showing you how busted he could be even for very long health pools check this out man and if you want to see it pushed to the limit go check out msd's video he did a great job of it i believe it was 48 seconds might be 42 seconds i do believe there was a four involved in the number taking down 1.5 million health i mean dude look at this this is like about the length of like another act six fight act seven fight that we've done man so it's just like 
and he's almost dead. He's down to 20% of health, right? Also, if we ran Assassin, our attack rating would go up even higher at this point, which is just like another way to increase the damage from the debuffs, right? I just, there's just, there's so many ways, man. And the thing with the thing about it is like, usually for like a champion, it's like, yeah, you increase the damage and there's one thing they do definitely gets a little bit higher. With Agent Venom, he's popping so many debuffs that are based on his modified attack that you really do notice it. Like you really do notice the difference with this guy um, when you're, when you're increasing that attack rating. You really do notice it, which is just absolutely lovely. So this was a little over like a minute and 40 seconds there against that Red Hulk. It's crazy stuff, man. We're speeding along. I don't want this video to be too long. I really want it to be like bam, 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 you know? So we're gonna roll on to the next one. We have 7.3. Old Man Logan, dude, 7.3 Old Man Logan. Now, one thing about Old Man Logan here is that he does have like the passive bleeds or whatever, and I'm not even sure like what that's gonna be doing for us. All I know is that like, we still we, we, we still put the incinerates on, man. I don't know, there's six passive bleeds, one active bleed. I don't know, man, I don't know what's going on. Maybe it's a bug. Maybe that's not supposed to be happening. Maybe it is supposed to be happening. I don't know, man. All I know is that this guy is Lazarus. He has like 650 something thousand health. We have class disadvantage here and we're, and we're almost done with the fight. That's all I know. That's the only thing I know. It's the only thing I'm interested in knowing. I don't really care about his passive bleeds. Doesn't matter. It looks like we're not doing much bleed damage though. But again, I don't really care. I don't care. I'm looking at the incinerates and that's what I want to happen here and it's working. Now, of course, every 10 hits, we're gonna get the falter passive. Definitely something to keep in mind here, right? But this is it right here. You're done. He is done, man. Up next, we have 7.4 Mojo, dude. Now with this Mojo, every time you have Degen on you and you knock him down, he is going to, um, or every time you have Degen on you and you knock the opponent down, you're gonna put your Degen on him. So now we're taking our source of damage, right? Our two damage over time uh, debuffs, and we're going to take all of the Degen passives and pop those on over to our friend Mojo over there. And as you can see, there's just even more damage over time. And we're purposefully like parrying the projectile so we can get Degen on us, so we could pop it on over, going heavy into special attack. And we got some really solid RNG in this guy's about to just fall over see you later man peace out dude up next 6.3 mysterio now this one's annoying because there's a falter right you gotta go like light medium light medium but look at how fast they go down man so guys if you're having trouble in act six all you need to do is bring in your rank four agent venom with your your scorpion and your craven and your anti-venom and and your symbiote supreme and then you don't have to worry about it anymore and you can completely get through it obviously these are jokes right um this is content not designed for six star rank fours man at all but honestly i could see a five star asian venom doing really well in here if you do happen to have the other champions as well um, so keep that in mind as well. If you actually are struggling with this Act 6 content, it's obviously not going to be as fast with a 5-star. But let's say you have all the champions as 5-stars, man. It might be a good idea to, to invest in Agent Venom because he can certainly do a lot of stuff if you have a lot of content left to do, man. So up next, we have an interesting one, Variant 4 Electro, okay? So there are notes here, like whenever we like do like energy damage or something, we get like that degen on us, something like that. But the health pool is so small here. This is like a side quest health pool, man. And this is what Electro looks like when I do side quests with him. It's like, get to a special one, dead. Agent Venom, I said Electro. That's just like what it is like with this guy. Crazy, man. So. This is a 7.1 Green Goblin. And what's fun about this one is we have Power Reserve here. Now you might imagine why that would be fun because we can do stuff like this. Stack the hell out of these debuffs like you've never seen before, dude. And it's funny, we've actually had much better RNG in fights where we weren't stacking special ones like crazy, but that's okay, doesn't really matter. Oh my goodness, eight eight of them now does green goblin have some energy resistance i would guess yes since i've seen bigger numbers on other defenders i don't even know it's making me like want to want to like look into all of these champions resistances i looked it up and it's interesting opponents do minus 30 percent less damage on special attacks that is going to 
lower our debuff damage. Interesting stuff. Very interesting stuff. We have a couple of fights left here. This was interesting. Iron Man Infinity War in 6.3. This guy is... Now, here's a perfect example of like, man, I'm obviously not going to show you bad fights, right? But look at this. He's bleed immune with the armors, right? So I have to build up power, wait for the armors to go away, and then I can do stuff like this, and then it's going to be absolutely freaking fine. I mean, are we kidding, right? But against bleed immune champions, dude, Agent Venom, even with them, the, even if you bring 10 synergies, useless. Unless one of those synergies is like, if they're bleed immune, do a poison debuff instead, which I don't think we're going to be seeing any more crazy synergies for this guy anytime in the near future, man. He's been synergized to hell and back, and I think he's in a solid, oh my god, look at his health. And he's, I think he's in just a, a more than solid place now at this point, man. He definitely has his checks and balances. There's definitely a lot that he cannot do, but there's a lot that he can do, man. And he can do just enough that I was comfortable taking him to rank four, man. And the thing is though, man, when you're running him with Scorpion, dude, if there is a champion on the team that he could not, on, on, on the path in front of you that he cannot take, there is almost a 100% chance, almost, I'd say 95% chance that Scorpion is able to take it. Between the three of them, you have bleed debuffs, you have incinerate debuffs, and then from Scorpion, you got Poisons, Shock, and Ruptures. So unless you're fighting somebody with like massive tenacity, you got a bunch of options for doing damage, man. You got a bunch of options. One more fight here. 7.3 Stark Enhanced Spider-Man. Now, this one is, what is even on this? I'm kind of forgetting here, but there's something where like when I, when I, oh my God, that was some solid RNG. Something about like, when like uh you put a non-damaging debuff on him he goes unblockable right but also look at this this is an interesting one i should have probably had this earlier on we're countering evade here you have a chance to counter evade with agent venom as well in his base kit right and every time you do you place a bleed on the opponent so i definitely probably should have had this earlier on to showcase that utility um it's not the most reliable evade counter as you can see but it's nice to have when it freaking happens and this is going to be it see you later starkey See you later, man. So, dude, Agent Venom, man. The stars of the show really are these three right here. Yeah, Symbiote Supreme increased our bleed damage a little bit. Cool. The incinerates are what really matters. Anti-Venom definitely helped us do some cool things in this fight. And when you run suicides, allows you to potentially start with 20% of your max power which is a lot, man, which is truly a lot, <laughs> getting you to that special one so much faster. And with a 70% chance to shrug both those debuffs, there's a good chance it's going to happen, right? So yeah, man, I mean, like, dude, for me, this rank up is not going to be for everybody. For me, it's a no-brainer, man. I got Scorpion at rank four. I love Craven. He's rank three. I put an Awakening Gem in him. He's still sick one. I mean, like, it's just, this is my favorite trio in the game right now. It's just, it's just so beautiful, man. It's so beautiful. I love Spidey 29. You put him on the team. He has an amazing synergy with Scorpion and with Anti-Venom, dude. The five of them are just so good together. I wish they gave more to Kraven, but unfortunately, Kraven does not get much. He, all he gets is that he counters Miss, which is a piece of utility that he handles on the team. That's his slot, man. He counters evade very, very easily and also miss. True accuracy, when Asian Venom's on the team, you counter miss, which is great. Plus, he's just super duper fun to play and his damage is pretty bonkers when the AI cooperates. Unfortunately, the AI is pretty rough, so it doesn't always cooperate. But anyway, my dudes, that is going to be it for this Maximum Ultimate Sensational Synergies video showcase of Agent Venom. Venom. It was an absolutely very fun one to make. I love this champion so much. Very happy with him as my first skill rank four, as my ninth rank four in general. Absolutely no regrets by me. I've been using him honestly nonstop. Um, ever since I've ranked up Scorpion Man, which was a while ago at this point, a month ago at this point, I've pretty much like been using Scorpion and Agent Venom for almost everything. For Alliance War all season, Agent Venom and Scorpion for me. Uh, so yeah, this he's gonna be dead weight in Battleground, man. If there's like an invade meta, yeah, he's gonna be pretty decent on defense with that special one, but until that happens, he's pretty much just not gonna enter Battlegrounds. But dude, 
that's okay. Not every champion you rank has to be good everywhere, man. Keep that in mind, dude. For, so for me, it's like questing. This is my this is a questing rank four, dude. And, and honestly, he's kind of an alliance war rank four as well. I didn't really expect it at the time of the rank up that I was going to be using him this much in war, but he's kind of he kind of is, man. And I'm using him a lot, and he's nuts for it. He's nuts for it. But at the end of the day, any sort of questing, casual questing, event quests, even going forward in story content. I want to be using Agent Venom and Scorpion, man. And of course, you know, obviously like Hercules as well. But like those are the, those are my favorite champs right now, dude. And Rincher. Love me some Rincher. Um, but yeah, man, that's going to be it for this video. I do hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop your boy a big old life. Life. Drop me a life, please. This video took so long to make. No, drop me a big old like. Um, listen, if you were surprised by Agent Venom's damage output, I know I've put out some Agent Venom videos in the past. I know other people have as well, but this was a lot at once. If you were surprised by any of this stuff, let me know in the comment section below. I know that people generally know he's good right now, but after watching this video, keeping in mind that it's a big investment requiring multiple synergies and preferably suicide masteries, not required though, do you think Agent Venom is a good rank four candidate for other people as well? Let me know what you think in the comment section below. For me personally, it was a no brainer and I'm very happy with it. It seemed crazy at first. It was like, man, should I rank? I, I, I said to somebody, I said to somebody, dude, you know what I would love to do? I'd love to rank four Agent Venom. He's my favorite champ to use right now. And they said, then why don't you just do it? And I said, holy shit, okay, yeah. And then I went and did it, I haven't looked back. You gotta rank the champions you wanna rank, man. And I, I recommend you do it. That's it for this one. I'll be seeing you around.